are you today? We are back. I am Miss Melissa and this is Mr. Justin. And we are here from QSP to be your drama teachers. And let's go over some things that we've already learned. And then we are going to play some really fun games and learn some new things. Um, first, let's go over what is drama. Drama is an ensemble, which we already learned means together. An ensemble working together to tell a story. And we're using our three tools of an actor to help tell that story. Now, what are our three tools of an actor? Number one is your body. Everyone do it with me but body and your voice vo voice and your imagination. imagination imagination excellent and we've also learned about tableau and pantomime now those are two pictures that tell a story a tableau is a frozen picture that tells a story and a pantomime is a moving picture that tells a story. Now, um, let's practice a little bit. Everybody show me a tableau of you um, throwing a big rock. Perfectly still, perfectly still. Excellent. Now show me a pantomime, which is moving, of you playing basketball. Good job, good job, excellent. We've also learned about story structure. What happens in the beginning of the story, in the middle of the story, and at the end of the story. At the beginning of the story, we always meet the characters and we learn about the five W's, the um, who are they, what are they doing, why are they doing it, where are they and when are they. Um, and in the middle of the story, we have the conflict which is the fancy word for problem. And then at the end of the story, we have the resolution, they fix the problem. So in our story, your name is a song, um, the beginning of the story, you meet uh, mama and you meet the little girl and you hear about the teacher and the other students, those are the characters in the story. Um, and then in the middle of the story, you find the conflict, which is they are not trying to say her name and it makes her not feel good. And then at the end of the story, the resolution, which is she teaches them her name as a song and they all learn how to sing their name. Um, excellent. And so now for this class, we are going to learn about dialogue and narration and what is the difference between dialogue and narration. So we're going to play some games that will teach us that. But first, let's warm up our bodies to get them nice and noodly. And for that, I, take, I give you to Mr. Justin. All right, excellent. Hello, everyone. So we have to warm up, of course, our body, our voices, and our imaginations. So let's start with our body warm up, which is a very popular theater warm up called the shakedown. And so what I want us all to do is stick out our right arm, raise it, and you're going to shake this eight times as fast as you can and count to eight. And once you get to eight, you freeze. So ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, freeze. Excellent. Now you're going to do the same thing on the left arm eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. Now you're going to stick out your right leg and you're going to shake that eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. Then you can switch over to your left leg, stick that out and shake it eight times as fast as you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. Now you're going to go back to your right arm, stick that up. And now you're going to go six times, shake it six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. Then you're going to switch over to the left and do the same with the left arm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. Now to the right leg, stick it out, shake it six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very nice. Now left leg, stick it out, shake it six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. Now right arm up again. We're going to four this time. So go with me. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. This arm. One, two, three, four. Excellent. The right leg, shake four times. One, two, three, four. Very nice. Left leg. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. All right. Now right arm up. You're going to go two times this time. So one, two. Excellent. This arm. One, two. Right leg, one, two. Left leg, one, two. Very nice. All right, now we're gonna go to ones on each part. So, and then after that, go ahead and shake out your entire body. So ready, set, go. One, 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 shake it out. Oh yeah, get, get all crazy and stuff. Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful. All right, and freeze. 
Excellent. All right, let that go. Actor neutral. Now, of course, we have to do Lion, Lemon, Superhero, and Super Villain, my favorite. So we're going to do, I want you all to get your face nice and wide and stick out your tongue and get your claws out and roar like a lion. <laughs> Beautiful. Another, another go. <laughs> Very nice. All right, actor neutral, actor neutral. Now you're going to use your imagination and reach behind you. And what you're going to find behind you is a lemon. It's very nice. Oh, excellent. Now, you're going to repeat after me. Hello, lemon. Hello, lemon. I'm going to eat you. I'm going to eat you. Beautiful. Now, go ahead and stick that lemon in your mouth. Oh, but it is the sourest lemon you've ever tasted in your entire life. And go ahead and throw the lemon away. But your body has to get small and your face has to get small too. Very, very nice. Excellent. And repeat after me. Why, Mr. Justin, why? Why, Mr. Justin, why? I am sorry, everyone. I am so sorry. Go back to actor neutral. Let that go. Beautiful, beautiful. Now we must be superheroes. So I want us all to take a big deep breath. Stick out your chest and hands on your hips. One hand up in the air and you repeat after me. Tra la la. Tra -la -la. Beautiful, beautiful. Now you have to save people on this side. So stick up your other arm and repeat after me. Tra la la. Tra la la. Beautiful, beautiful. And go back to actor neutral. Now, my absolute favorite is super villain, of course. So what you're going to do is you're going to roll your shoulders forward. Very nice. Very good, very good. Now put on an evil face. Very important. Now get evil fingers to match your evil face. Very nice. And repeat after me. He he he. <laughs> very nice. Now twirl your evil mustache. Very good. Twirl your evil mustache. Very nice. Very nice. And if you have a beard, that's very good too. A mustache beard combo. Very nice. Excellent. Excellent. Now get out your evil animals. Yes. Yes. Your evil animal companions. Yes. This is my parakeet named Peter. Hello, Peter. Thank you, Peter. Excellent. All right, now, goodbye, Peter. Send your animals away. Send them away. Goodbye, Peter. Very nice. All right, and go back to actor neutral. Beautiful job, everyone. Please. Silent, silent applause. Excellent, excellent. So we warmed up our body and our imagination a little bit. Now we've got to do our vocal warm up. And vocal warm up is all about breath support. So I want us to all put on our imagination hats, of course, use that beautiful imagination. And what you're going to do is imagine that you are a balloon. And I want you to go ahead and take a big deep breath and imagine yourself as a balloon getting nice and big. Excellent. And then breathe out. We're gonna go ahead and get small like a balloon when it loses its air. Very nice. Now take another big deep breath. Fill up like a balloon and breathe out. Very nice, very, very nice. Now, repeat after me. Ba 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 Ga 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 Ma 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 Ta 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 
yeah, 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 very nice. Round of applause, silent applause. Beautiful job, everybody. So we are going to go ahead and move on to our next activity after warming up our bodies, our voices, and our imaginations. So Miss Melissa, what, what are we doing next? Today, we are learning about dialogue and narration. Both those were fancy words, dialogue and narration. They mean how you speak when you're on stage who you talk to when you're on stage and what you're talking about when you're on stage. So dialogue, everyone, let me see your two fingers like this. Dialogue is when you have lines and when you're speaking to another actor on stage. So everyone do this with me. You're speaking to another actor on stage. Yes. Narration, let me see your fingers. Yes. It's when you're telling a story and you're speaking to the audience. So everybody go like this. You're speaking to the audience. So dialogue is your lines. You're speaking to someone else on stage and narration is you're telling a story and you're speaking to the audience. All right, excellent. This first game is a dialogue game. Now, show me what you do with your fingers. When, who are you speaking to when you do dialogue? Let me see, let me see. Very good. You're talking to each other. It's your lines. Dialogue is your lines. So this is what we're going to do. All of us are going to be actors in a story. So I am going to be actor number one. You are going to be actor number two. Justin is going to be actor number three. And I'm going to give us our lines. So we're gonna practice it first when I, and I'm gonna give us our lines and then we're going to perform it and you're gonna remember your lines and you're gonna say them. Um, and that is dialogue. Dialogue is your lines. Okay, so the first, I have the first line. I'm actor number one. I'm going to enter and I'm going to say, oh, and we're also going to use pantomime in this exercise. Remember, pantomime is a moving picture that tells a story. Okay, so I'm going to pantomime. Would you like some eggs? Your line, you are going to say, Yes, thank you. And you're gonna pantomime getting your eggs. Yes, thank you. So let's practice that little part. Would you like some eggs? Perfect, yes, thank you. Excellent, good job. And then you're going to pantomime eating your eggs. And your next line is, these eggs taste funny. So you practice that, ready, go. Good. These eggs taste funny, and you should and you should act like the eggs taste funny, right? Like, rah, rah, rah. Ooh, what's going on? These eggs taste funny. Excellent. And then you are going to give me your most dramatic faint. You're going to faint very dramatically. Oh, and you're going to faint. Can I see you practice fainting? Perfect. Excellent. Good job. And then my line is, doctor, doctor, and Justin's gonna run in and he's going to check on you to make sure you're okay. And he's going to say, Justin, your line is, I'm sorry, they're gone. I'm sorry, they're gone. Good, and then I say, no! And you pop up and you say, just kidding. Let's see you practice that, ready? Pop up, just kidding. Excellent, so your lines are, Yes, thank you. These eggs taste funny. <sighs> just kidding. Those are your lines. All right, are we ready to perform it? I think so. Let's just try it. Let's just try it. It's going to be great. Okay, ready? Everyone get into character. Put on your actor scarf. Put on your actor hat. Put on your actor paints and your actor shirt. All right, we're ready. We're ready. And action. Would you like some eggs? These eggs taste funny. Doctor, doctor! I'm sorry, they're gone. No! <gasps> Everyone give them a round of applause, a round of applause. 
All right, let's do it one more time for good luck. Now that we feel confident about our lines, are we ready? Get into character, get into character, get into character. And action. Would you like some eggs? <gasps> doctor, doctor. I'm sorry. They're gone. No! <gasps> Yay! Excellent, excellent. Give yourselves a round of applause. Give yourselves a round of applause. Good job, good job. And so that is called what, my friends? Dialogue, that's right. Dialogue is your lines when you're talking to each other on stage. Um, and now we are going to play a game that will teach us about narration. And for that, I will give you to Mr. Justin. All right, welcome back everyone. So we are going to be doing narration and our game is gonna be called Documentary Film Maker. And of course, narration is do with me is when you are speaking to the audience and you're by yourself and you're speaking and telling the story to the audience. Very nice, very nice. Yes, you're telling a story to the audience. Excellent. So how this is gonna work is we are going to, I'm going to narrate a story to you and your job as the actor is to pantomime, which is doing a silent movement of my story is what I'm telling you. So with that all, with that all in mind, I'm gonna start us off. I'm gonna start us off with a, it's a wonderful tale. So once upon a time, there was a person, that is all of you. And this person had two scoops of ice cream on an ice cream cone. And it was so yummy. And you were eating this ice cream cone and it is the tastiest ice cream cone that you have ever tasted in your entire life. Oh my gosh, you love, love, love this ice cream cone, but you wanna add more scoops to your ice cream cone. And so what you do, you go ahead and walk on over to the amazing ice cream shop where you got this amazing ice cream cone. And you ask the person, can I have more scoops of ice cream, please? And the person goes ahead and puts one scoop on and you say, no, I want more scoops. I want more scoops. Okay, goes ahead and puts more scoops on. Oh, no, you want more scoops. Oh, you want more scoops, of course, more scoops. Okay, another scoop. No, more scoops. So you get another scoop and you no, know, you just keep on adding the scoops. But this ice cream cone is getting really heavy and wobbly because it's a hot day out. And so you're making sure and trying to make sure that you're balancing the ice cream cone okay, but then the person puts one more scoop on top of this ice cream cone, but it just becomes way too much. And all the ice cream, almost 50 scoops of ice cream fall on top of you, fall all over the place and you lose all of your ice cream. And now you just have to wipe off all of that ice cream and you realize that it's still amazing ice cream. So you go ahead and eat it anyway. You just go ahead and lick it. Oh my gosh, and the end. Oh, that is the tale. Oh, round of applause. Take a bow, take a bow. Yes, as the actor. Good job, friends. Oh, amazing. You must take a bow after your performance. So go ahead and take a bow. Very, very nice way to listen, everyone. That's also very important for an actor is to listen. Very good. Now, we are going to switch the roles here. So I'm going to act something out and you are all gonna be able to narrate it as I act this out. And so I have to think of something that I wanna act out though. It's, gonna, it's coming to me, it's a, okay. I think I've got it, I think I've got it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start this off. Once upon a time, friends. Now watch Justin, Mr. Justin, what is he doing? What do we think he's doing? Yes, yes, excellent, good. What else could he be doing? Uh -huh. And now, yes, now what he's doing. What is he doing? Good, good. 
it's okay if you don't know exactly what it is. Use your imaginations. Use your imaginations. <sighs> yes. Huh? What is he doing now? And he lived happily ever after. Good job, my friend. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Very nice. I was building a sandcastle. That's what I was, I probably, it probably didn't look like a sandcastle, <laughs> but in my mind, I had this amazing sandcastle built. I, I got to tell you, it was incredible. But that's okay, because whatever you said that he was doing, that is what he was doing. Exactly. So whatever you used your imaginations to say, that's what, what the story was. That's what narration means. So um, let's review dialogue one more time is your what? Your lines, excellent, when you're talking to someone else. Narration is what, we, what you were just doing. You were narrating what Mr. Justin was doing. So what is narration? When you're telling a story and you're talking to the audience. Excellent, good job, friends. Now, let's... Let's pull up um, our story. Your name is a song, and we're gonna go over a little bit what is narration in the story and what is dialogue in the story. Now, this story is mostly dialogue. It is mostly the little girl and, the, and uh, her mama talking to each other, right? To each other on stage, but there is some narration. So let's start. I'm not coming back ever again. Is that narration or dialogue? Dialogue, good. The girl stomped. Is that narration or dialogue? Are you saying what she's doing? Are you telling the story? Or is she saying a line? That's narration, excellent. Please don't stomp unless we're stepping in a drill team, mama said. Is that narration or dialogue? That is dialogue, excellent. Was your first day of school so bad? Dialogue. The girl looked down. That is narration. No one could say my name. Dialogue. Mm -hmm. No one, not even your teacher. She tried. It got stuck in her mouth. That is dialogue as well, my friends. Now this part is narration. Listen to it. A street musician swayed and played. Mama closed her eyes until she swayed too. That is narration. I am talking to the audience. I'm telling the story. Tell your teacher your name is a song. The girl wrinkled her brow. I can't say that. Names aren't songs. Dialogue. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sure they are. Take the name Illumide. Illumide is a melody girl and so is Pitone dialogue. The girl whispered the names. Tap, tap, tap went her feet. Narration. Mamadou is a beat. Tondalwetu stretches out like a love song. That is dialogue. She's talking to her daughter. The girl whispered the names. Tap, tap, tap went her feet. Mamadou is a beat. Tondalwetu stretches out like a love song. Yes, girl, names are songs. Sing your name. Your teacher will learn to sing it too. The girl did a jig as they walked along. Show me the jig the little girl is doing. Excellent. That is narration. So it goes back and forth really quickly between narration and dialogue. Whenever the girl and the mom are talking to each other, it's dialogue. And whenever the narrator is telling you what they're doing, like that jig and the swaying, that is narration. Okay, friends, excellent, good job. Um, that is it for this week. We are going to continue next week. We're gonna start staging our play. It's gonna be really, really fun. Uh, but for right now, everyone show me a uh, tableau of how you are feeling after drama class. Ready? I'll say go, ready? One, two, three, go. Super still. Breathe. Just kidding, you can breathe. All right, and let that go. <laughs> and everyone put your hands in front of the camera. On the count of three, we're gonna lift it up and say drama class. Ready? One, two, three, drama, drama class. Bye.
Ja. 